Resurrecting Hots. Ty, giga ciekawe. Dawajcie, zobaczymy. Materia o tym, jak fani zrobili lepszego hossa niż Blizzard. Ale co oni go zmodowali? Trailer. Nie no, hot zawsze był do dupy. Nie oszukujmy się. Wiecie, jaki był największy problem Hotsa? Że był mobą, która bazowała na zburzeniu głównych filarów moby, które były w niej najważniejsze. To była moba, która miała współdzielone eksp. Po chuj kurwa grać w mobę, która ma współdzielone eksp. No przecież to jest idiotyczne. I w Hotsie nie było jeszcze itemów chyba, tak? Ja dobrze pamiętam. Czyli cały schemat budowania swojej postaci przeciwko postaciom przeciwników był z tej gry wyplewiony. To była moba ze współdzielonym ekspem bez przedmiotów. To była moba, która miała najważniejsze filary moby usunięte. No nie dziwię się, że to nie zadziałało. Despite what you were seeing, this is not Heroes of a Storm. Resurgence of a Storm, Rots, is a recreation of Heroes of a Storm within the StarCraft 2 engine. It is free to play and out now. Instructions later in the video. Oh, kurwa, this is not StarCraft. Yeah. Like many, we miss hearts. We miss reading patch notes, getting excited for new heroes, reworks, balance changes. So, we took it into our own hands. Resurgence of a Storm has been in close play testing for over a year, and in development <laughs> for over four. A jak myślicie, kiedy Blizzard położy na tym łapę i skanceluje ten projekt, albo powie, żeby nie był kontynuowany, albo e, znowu jakąś krzywą akcję odklei? Currently, 15 heroes are available for play. Many are familiar faces with smaller or larger changes, such as new or changed talents and abilities. Let's look at some highlights of the new and changed heroes of Resurgence. Salendas is a mobile and precise melee assassin that slices and dices through opponents. Armed with side blades and a Protoss fleet at her disposal, she makes quick work of both single and multiple targets alike, but struggles in extended one-on-one -on -one combat. Talondar is a sturdy, high-damage bruiser, able to stack hey, his system Travis Lola and his ground against or topple over most foes. His Praetor form gives him a unique purifier twist to the Protoss way of combat, powering up his abilities with solar. Hey, czy trawa w lolu pozwala na e, disjointowanie pocisków, czy nie? Nie. A strzałów też nie. W docie nie ma trawy. Nie ma. W docie masz uphill'a i downhill'a. Masz <laughs> wertykalność mapy. <laughs> to over... Jedynie ukrywa, okej. Okay. We're well unprepared foes. Arfus has received a full faith. Czyli trawa sprawia, że tylko nie widzisz w lolu, tak? I nie możesz atakować kogoś, kto jest w trawie w niej nie będąc, okej. Okay. Slipped to contend in the Nexus with a new talent tree, strengthened basic abilities and a unique identity. No to nie, no to system wertykalności uphilla i downhilla jest o wiele bardziej skomplikowany w docie. To jest w chuj lepszy, serio, w chuj lepszy imo. As an immovable object. <laughs> Ma o wiele więcej możliwych e, play z nim związanych, moim zdaniem. Two battlegrounds are currently available for play. Cursed Hollow and King's Crest. Cursed Hollow is unchanged from Heroes of the Storm. King's Crest... Ej, ale ta mapa jest... ona jest strasznie mała, nie? Cursed Hollow is unchanged from Heroes of the Storm. King's Crest is a small two-lane map with one fort in each lane. New talents have been added to old heroes. Let's take you through some of the highlights. At level 1, Ragnaros now has the Raid Time talent. This talent reduces the cooldown of Molten Core for each minion Ragnaros kills and increases its range, allowing him to participate more often with Molten Core's abilities. At level 16, Diablo now has access to the Tantrum talent. This activatable empowers his next overpower to slam Czemu three te times, mają tyle życia? stunning an enemy for an extended duration of time. Malfurion has received a minor rework. Regrowth now heals for a small amount upon cast, and Moonfire has a slightly increased cooldown, but Jezu, increased damage. Additionally, Malfurion's trait applies its effects. Ej, w tej grze da się umrzeć generalnie, czy ona jest tak zrobiona, żeby każdy nigdy nie umierał? At level 13, Malfurion now gets the Wild Shape Hair ability. This ability can be activated on an ally with regrowth to consume the heal, but give them a massive speed boost for a short duration. 
If you're interested in all the details, check out the full patch notes. In nie, no, to jest fajne, że w ogóle gracze robią coś takiego, ale chodzi jest tak gównianym systemem, moim zdaniem, do próby wskrzeszania go, że to nie ma sensu. Masz dwie dobre moby, masz Lola i Dotę. Jak masz 12 lat i poniżej 100 IQ, to grasz w Lola. Jeżeli jesteś trochę starszy lub inteligentniejszy, grasz w Dotę. No, prosty podział się stworzył, nie? I to, to wszystko. It's important to note that this is not a full replacement of Heroes of the Storm. As a StarCraft 2 mod, some things are not possible. Some models and abilities cannot be replicated or ported over. Most importantly, there are no quick cast settings. Everyone plays with on release. We'd like to share a short roadmap with you to show some of what we've been planning and working on recently. Nigers jest to, że oglądam taki materiał, myślę o tym, żeby zacząć znowu grać w Dota, kurwa. Czemu? Ja o tym myślę. Ja wiem, jak ta gra mnie rujnuje. Right now, a weapon switching ranged assassin is in development. Kaf. She has a variety of weapons to switch between for any situation. A new battleground is in development. Battle for slain. This Protoss-themed battleground has an objective similar to Infernal Shrines, which will summon a Void Thrasher to attack your enemies. O, dobre. Jak w tym. Additionally, we want to port care, many sure. more heroes and give them new and exciting talents. Currently, we are looking at adding Brightwing, Greymane, Leeming, and Muradin. If Rot succeeds, we are also planning to port fan-favorite brawls, such as Escape from Braxis or Pool Party. Resurgence of the Storm is a passion project. Development is done by a small team. Zero Lamberg is the founder, creator, and technical lead. Lamberg's hard work over the last four years has made this entire thing possible. Mindhawk leads hero design and balance. Someone new and Labrarius assist in design, patch notes, and organizing the project. If you are very skilled with a StarCraft II editor and are interested in helping port heroes, or an artist experienced in porting models to StarCraft II, please contact Mindhawk on Discord. However, to continue on resurgence, we need donations. This is an extremely time-intensive project to make, and Lamborg works on it as a full-time job. Without support, development will currently end in March. If you have the means to spare, please consider donating on Patreon or Boosty. Links are in the description. To play Resurgence of the Storm right now, first download StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 itself is also free to play. Go to the Resurgence of the Storm Discord, link in the description. Download the Resurgence of the Storm Patreon program. Find your StarCraft 2 install folder and let it run. Afterwards, run StarCraft 2, search Rots in the Arcade, and you can play. On our server, there is an LFG channel you can use to find other players. That's all from us. We hope you are as excited as we are about Resurgence. From the entire ROTS development team, thank you for your interest, time, and support. And we'll see you in the Nexus. Kurwa, ciekawy projekt, nie? Ale to nadal projekt na hot się, nie?